By the power vested in me, yeah. I now pronounce you a superstar. But look, when it comes to releasing your song commercially on them DS of P-P-P-P's, <laughs> yeah. I don't got that kind of power. Hey, I'm your sing AG, not your label. Look, this episode, we finna look at your one-stop split sheet and see who got all that power. Okay, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What you say now? Talk money, I can hear you. What? You ain't got money, that's a cold blood. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. I sort of like a bill collect the finance directs, so like the banks ain't lending up dough. Now that you need to wake up money, then you start selling funny, and I just can't hit all my. Hey, hey, bubble on deck. Yeah. Look, I'm your host, Tamara Bubble. Yeah. And look, I- AKA your favorite sing superstar. I'm your favorite. Go ahead and tell the people. Anyway, look. AKA, look, the I Hear Money coach. I'm your favorite. Look, I'm your only. Not just your favorite. Ain't nobody coaching you to this money. Not like I am. Yeah. Ain't nobody putting you up on this much free sync game. Look, they all here. Look, they might be out here giving you them basics. I'm trying to dig you. I'm putting you up on game that's going to help you superstar. We don't want to be no basic artist. We trying to be a superstar artist. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, if you feeling the content, if you feeling and smelling like, look, I'm getting close to Superstar and I kind of like this podcast, go ahead, run up them reviews with the five, yeah, five stars. I need all the stars you can find. Anyway, throw that review up on the podcast. Just do it once and only once. Anyway, after you do that, you're going to realize, oh my God, I'm a little late. It's subscribe time. It ain't skin 30. It's subscribe time. So I need you to like, share, comment, tell the people about this podcast. Go ahead to hit the bell, ding, ding, up on these notifications. Ugh, tell them notifications every time she drop. Ugh, don't let me miss no episode. This episode, this is a smart podcast. We're going to talk to the notifications this episode. Look, notifications. Don't look, don't. I know they give options like, oh, give me some of the notifications. Look, no, turn it, hit the notification. Tell them, give me all them gems. Stop holding out gems when I'm trying to superstar. Get to talking to YouTube about that. Anyway, hit that bell that's going to give you all these episodes. Because I'm trying to tell you, you trying to superstar on a budget or whatnot. <laughs> Ew. Look, if you got the superstar on the budget until you can take that challenge, I need you to look, hit that bell and get up on all these episodes. Anyway, the sponsor for this, look, the sponsor for this episode. It's, it is, it's no different than last episode. Yeah. Look, the sponsor for this podcast is the Sync Superstar Academy. I'm trying to tell you right now, there's a 24 hour Sync Superstar Activation Challenge. I need for you to take that challenge because Superstar is waiting on you. I'm trying to tell you the Superstar is already in you. This challenge going to take, look, give me 30 days or less and I'm going to activate your Superstar. You finna learn, I'm, look, you finna learn pure game. You finna learn advanced game. You finna do it self-study, look, on your own time. I feel like learning today, Bubble, let me hop up on here and become a Superstar. I'm trying to tell you. It's out here. It's called the 24 Hour Sing Superstar Activation Challenge. And look... Last episode, I gave a little Cody code. <laughs> yeah, that code's still running right now. Because I'm trying to tell you, after this month, the price going look. Price going on, on up. Yes, the price is look, moving on up like the Jeffersons. Anyway, look, if you want to learn this month, you're going to get a little discount. Yeah, because you won't see these prices again. I'm trying to tell you. This challenge, dude, if I go through the reviews, if I tell you what the people say, if I tell you about them, them superstars has been activated, <laughs> yeah, you're going to know we're not playing. What I'm going to start doing, I'm going to wait till they start superstar and then I'm going to bring them up on this podcast. I'm going to let them tell you directly, like, just stop playing. Go ahead and take that challenge. Anyway, after, look, after you take that challenge, you can come back to this episode. Yeah, come back and look. Find out why we created the podcast. It's for even if you don't take the challenge. The podcast is here even if you don't take the challenge, even if you don't take a master class, even if you don't read a book about sync. Could you just learn? Could you just come out here and get these gems for look, they, uh, free gems? Let me come get them. Yeah. Anyway, the podcast was created with four goals in mind. Look, the first goal is to save you money in your sink business. That's on like a tax tip. Look, there might be ways I could save you money in your music business in general, but it's a lot of them savings going to come through these taxes. Because you know what it really is? It ain't a fact that 
we trying to get a discount. Look, I'm not trying to give you a coupon to say you saving money. Because I could just give you a discount on some products if you're trying to save money like that. I'm trying to save you money that you earned, that you already made. Look, that look, Uncle Sam wants your money and he didn't make no songs. I'm trying to tell you how to save that money. I'm trying to tell you how to keep money, not save money. Yeah. Anyway, go number two of this podcast. I'm trying to tell you is to make you more money in music licensing. Oh, I want to do in 2023 and beyond is make you more money in music licensing. We're going to superstar when we make it more money. Yeah. Look, goal number three is to transform your mindset. I want and I got and I need. Look, that's need with a ST on the end. I need to get your mind right. Because let me tell you, you could be saving money, you could be making more money, but if in certain instances your mind ain't right, you're gonna say something that's gonna mess up your whole entire career. You're gonna do something that's gonna mess up your whole entire career. You're gonna burn a whole bridge down that you, you didn't realize was on fire. Yeah. You know what? Because your mind ain't right. And you don't know no better. Look, and if you knew better, you would do better. So I got to get your mind right so you do. Look, so you get out here and start superstar. That's goal number four. Activate your superstar. Okay, now look. Could we just talk about the disclaimer really quickie quick? Could we fit in the talk a couple of legal terms this episode? Look, we fit in the talk. About power, control, ownership. We finna talk legally. Look, I ain't your lawyer. I'm trying to tell you we're going to talk legal stuff, but I'm not your lawyer out here. Go ahead and get you a lawyer, please. Go let them read them contracts if you can't read good. Even if you could read good, I'm trying to tell you your understanding might not be what you think it is. And you're going to sign some paperwork and be in trouble anyway. Yeah. We're going to talk that one-stop split sheet this episode, but I need to let you know before we do 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 <laughs> Yeah, look. This podcast is full of my personal opinions. I ain't going to do nothing but give you my personal opinions. Yeah. You ain't going to get no ugh, professional, legal, business, or tax advice. Look. You just ain't going to get it. Not in this podcast. Look, not without me disclaiming. Ain't no lawsuits going to come up out of these gems that I'm dropping. Ain't no lawsuits going to come up out of this juicy information. Look, just pay attention and make this money. Okay, let's go. When you talk money, I can hear you. I hear money. What is that? Can we get into it? Cause look, could, could we could we flip around that song from back in the day? Cause I don't got the power. <laughs> you remember that song? Anyway, I think I can't even sing it. Cause look, I ain't got no license for that music. But you know what song I'm talking about? The it's getting it's getting kind of hectic thing. I'm not look, I'm not gonna say too much more about it. But I don't got the power. That's the only line of that song that you need to know. <laughs> anyway, look as your sync agent when you sign a song to a sync agency. They don't got the power. But let, look, first, could we talk about this? Could we talk about who you signed it to? Because look, if they got the power to tell you how to release, when to release, where to release your song, and it's your song, <laughs> look, you, you probably done signed to a label. I'm trying to tell you. If you sign to a label, they got the power. They own the master. They control the master. They running that thing. Yeah. Look. If you sign your song to a publisher, they don't got the power either. I'm trying to tell you now, a song is like a coin. It got two sides. Let's break it down right now. Because look, I think y'all confused. Okay, look, with there's two sides of a coin, right? There's two sides of a pancake. There's two sides to a story. I'm trying to tell you, there's two sides to everything on God's green earth. And look, when it comes to a song, the two sides of the song is the actual physical recording the audio that you can actually hear the vocal performance of the song that's called the master right and then the other side is the publishing i'm trying to tell you the publishing and the publisher they ain't got nothing to do with the release of the song either let me tell you who run that master let me tell you who got the power the master owner yeah well they own it they do own it but this is what we're gonna talk about because yeah i want to tell you something oh before i forget let me before i forget if somebody that look if you sign your song to a sync agent and they got the power you in a raggedy deal i'm telling you now run pray get out of it anyway look 
Okay, pray you can get out of it because I don't know what kind of paperwork y'all be signing. But anyway, look, sometimes if you sign to one of them libraries, and I done told you how I feel about libraries. Somebody mentioned libraries. Ew, I ain't got nothing else to say about that. But anyway, sometimes they might have the power. I'm trying to tell you if the deal is raggedy because we talking sync. We ain't talking label deals. We ain't talking publishing deals. We ain't talking about people, them people that do take the power. We ain't talking libraries. Look. Depending on the deal, I'm trying to tell you. Oh, let me say this too, because look, some some people might get it twisted. I don't hate all libraries, yeah, but it, in the fundamentals of sync, when we when you hop up in that master class, I do break it down why libraries are the devil. But anyway, there's two types of libraries, yeah. I break all that down, so we depending on we not look. That's not this episode. Anyway, go get that master class, look, because you're trying to get me off topic. You're trying to get other information out of me. But anyway. We're just talking now about the power and we're talking about the power of the release, the commercial release to get your song on these DSPs. And I'm trying to tell you now, the sync agent don't got that power. Okay. It's on your split sheet. Could we hop up on your split sheet and see who owned this song, who run this song, who going to release this song? Cause yeah, look, let me tell you the split sheet that I'm referring to. Cause look, I can't, I don't know what all y'all be signing. Some of y'all be running out here making up your own agreements. Some of y'all be running out here just pulling a template off the internet. Oh, it's a split sheet. Let me let me download it. <laughs> let me just, you know, and it be like 10 pages long. Like, what's, what's happening? Look, my split sheet is one page. I'm trying to get you to do paperwork. I'm going to put all the necessary details up on it. The split sheet is free. It's a free download. It's a template. All you got to do is edit. Look, the, the text that's orange. Just turn it black and edit. That I turned it orange so you would know what you have to change. <laughs> yeah. When you get done, you're going to be ready. You're going to be ready to one stop up out here in these sink streets. But anyway, there's a little paragraph at the, look, there's three paragraphs at the bottom below all the splits and stuff and all the contact information and stuff. What a couple of lines. It's a, it's a one liner, little quickie, quickie liner. And it just says blank, you know, artist name. Is going to release the record on the DSPs. And the reason, let me tell you why I gave that control. Because technically and legally and actually, the master owners own the record. And they would decide who releases the record. Whoever paid for the, the master recording, okay? Whoever paid for that studio time, that mixing and mastering, they own the record. And I'm trying to tell you now... It's usually, it might be more, more than one person when it's artist and producer working together, they usually share the recording expenses and all of that. And so that's why they all equally share the master owner ownership, but it's whatever you negotiate. I'm trying to tell you now, look, the splits are what you negotiate, not what, what you think is what you think. It's whatever you sign on that piece of paper, that's who own what. So do what you got to do anyway. Um, the point is... I don't, in that split, uh, split sheet template, I don't assign the release of the record to the master owners. In that split sheet template, it's set in the template. Now, remember, a template means it's editable. <laughs> so you can put whoever you want to own it in there. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I don't put the master owners in there because when it comes to commercial releases, now we talking artist brand. So I like to leave that power. Who got the power to release the record to whoever name finna be branded up on that record. Now, if you have a like work for hire or something and it's somebody that is not their artist brand. Look, if you have a work for hire, if you didn't actually sing the song, you're going to have a work for hire agreement. Okay. But anyway, my point is, um, I put as the template. The artist's name should be the person that owns the record. So if there's an artist and a featured artist, I usually will put both names. Because look, when people is releasing music, I, you, look, if I wanted somebody to tell me as an artist, if I wanted somebody to tell me when and how to release my music and use up my brand name, I would assign to a label. I'm indie. So I'm not going to give no master owner, no co-writer the rights to tell me when to put out a song. Yeah, look. As the artist, I want to release music how I want to release music. 
we doing we getting money we superstar in sync but i'm still an artist don't get it twisted don't lose your mind look don't slip and bump your head on a cup of stupid <laughs> yeah i'm trying to tell you now i'm not gonna give control of my releases and my brand name okay because remember we're making these collabs for sync but i'm still an artist so now when it comes to releasing this stuff for the world to see i want to have the control over my brand okay so that's why I always put the artist got the power. But in that split sheet, look, get music on tv.com. That's the website. Go get the split sheet. Because I'm trying to tell you now, y'all out here with these split sheets, y'all don't know where they came from. They nine, 10,000 pages long. You don't even know what language is in there. And y'all just be signing it. And half the time, when I see some of these split sheets, y'all be turning in, it'll be like 10, 11, 12 pages. And at no point, do I see about anything about this thing being a one stop? I just look, why is this thing all these pages? Look, who gonna do all this reading? Hey, look, we trying to do paperwork, <laughs> not papers work. Look, we not signing the Encyclopedia Britannica. I know some of these agreements that I be seeing come through the door. I know y'all didn't read them. I know y'all just signed them because you just found it on the internet and you thought, oh, the internet is so smart. Let me just take this from the internet. Anyway. You're going to get yourself out here. You're going to get caught up playing around with them templates, them, them books y'all signing. But anyway, go get that free one-stop split sheet template. Yeah. And, look, and pay attention to paragraph two because it's going to say up in there who got the power. You're going to need to edit that and put that in there who get, who you're giving the power. <laughs> yeah. Look, let these let these artists control their brand. Let these artists control their releases because – Ew. you're not finna i look i make hundreds of songs you think you're gonna tell me when to release my records now look i ain't signed to you i'm indie out here in these streets i'm trying to tell you i got the power yeah so when we do a collab the artist is going to have the power to commercially release but i just need to tell you that the template is editable so if you want look if you the songwriter right and you just want to bring a, a collaborator and you telling them up front that i want to be able to release this song y'all talk y'all discuss this stuff could you communicate Ew. and then you put your name as the artist as the release and you can feature the other artists yeah look go ahead and set it up get it how you live i'm trying to tell you talk to a lawyer about it could you look could you bring it to a lawyer to figure it out for you <laughs> yeah look you also I don't recommend this because look, I charge a pretty penny because my time is limited. But you could do like a one-on-one -on -one console if you need help to figure this stuff out. I'm trying to tell you though, this podcast is the free advice. Go ahead and get this free non-professional gems. Yeah, look, go ahead and get, look, you got the power. Go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get that template. This is the solution. Get that template, right? Or look, if you already filled out this one-stop split sheet agreement and you didn't realize what you was signing to, go back and read it. See who you gave the power. Because I'm trying to tell you, it'd be so many artists hitting me up like, Bubble, the song is signed to your, your agency, can I release it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. I ain't got that kind of power. <laughs> All the I got control. I got control over the licensing. All I control as a sync agent is the clearance, the approvals to get these songs on TV. My goal is just to get you money. Yeah. I don't control that release. Go ahead and put that record out. Look, drop it like it's hot. Go look, drop it on the ground, break it like a DJ. Go ahead and break that record. Yeah. I ain't got that control, baby. I'm trying to tell you. I'm just gonna get you these placements. You do what you want to with the music. Bubble on that. Look at your belt, don't talk to me. Now I'm gonna tell you now, I know what you're thinking. You think, ooh, I got the power. Let me go ahead. Look, you think, let me go ahead and drop this record like it's hot. Yeah, and it might be hot, but I'm trying to tell you now, if you ain't got no release strategy, if you ain't got no promo budget, you finna drop your record, okay? And I don't know, like, you gonna drop your record on this, Jiminy Cricket. Did you know that you could release a song commercially? Like, let the world hear it. Make it available for the world to hear. <laughs> yeah, and it still be shell yeah yo streams is on jiminy cricket ain't nobody checking for that song now i'm trying to tell you if you need strategy for that this is what we here for that's what the sync superstar academy is here for look i got look i got i do i do authoring 
You trying to play with my face. I done told you I got solutions. From Sink to Superstar. Look, that's the book. That's the book right there. This is the paperback. There's a hard copy. <laughs> Look. I'm trying to tell you, it's, in every, it's available on every version you think you need. Look, there's an audio book. And I'm trying to tell you, the audio book used to be on Audible, but it's exclusively available now at the Sink Superstar Academy. Because audio book couldn't get my vocals right. I'm trying to tell you, they was clipping and chopping. They thought they was DJing my book. And I just had to pull it anyway. The Sync Superstar available, uh, Sync Superstar Academy got the audio book available exclusively, plus Q and A, plus lifetime access and updates. Get it how you live. If you if you out here saying bubble, I'm not finna pay all that for no audio book and no question and answering. Okay, I just want to read it. Okay, look, I'm giving you options. I'm trying to make yo that. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to turn, look, I'm trying to activate your superstar. Do what you love, get it how you live. That's all I'm gonna say. Bubble on day. I said if you broke, you can't talk to me. Hey. I only hear money, babe. You talk money, I 